Bill's Roundup, presented by ECMC. ECMC, the difference between health care and true care. Well, we've been through veteran voluntary off-season conditioning, a veteran mini camp, a rookie mini camp, OTAs, and now Murph mandatory mini camp Tuesday, day one of three days of workouts. Yeah, they were on the field here inside the field house on Tuesday. The final workouts leading up to training camp, still no pads, no contact, but there is offense versus defense drills. And even though this mini camp is a little more serious than the OTAs, Bill's veterans say they enjoy it. You know, the, the thing about Rex and, you know, being out here is, you know, uh, as opposed to, you know, uh, Marone last year is we have a lot of fun out here. You know, it's not always just business first. Uh, we come out here, we have fun, you know, we get to, you know, enjoy it and, and joke at practice. So uh, anytime you get a chance to do that, it makes the, the days go by a lot faster. So uh, it doesn't feel like we've been out here as long as we have. So uh, guys are, you know, coming out here, enjoying the time, you know, uh, and working at the same time. So uh, that makes our job a lot easier. Job one for the Bills coaching staff, picking a starting quarterback. The contenders, E.J. Manuel, Matt Castle, and Tyrod Taylor all rotating through with the offense, but head coach Rex Ryan says the contenders likely won't separate themselves until training camp when the pads come on and the football gets serious. I think the number one thing is to pick the right guy. You know, we have some right guys, but the right guy might be in the number one spot, the two spot, whatever the case may be. But that's the number one thing. Um, so. You know, is time on our side a little bit? Yes, it is. Would have, in an ideal world, would you already have your quarterback name by now? Yeah, that's an ideal situation. But you know what? We're not there. We're in an ideal situation to have competition at that spot, and and I welcome it. I'm focused on me and just trying to get better each and every day. Like I said, it's up to the coaches at the end of the day. We're out there pushing each other, and uh, we're we're looking to get better each and every day. And that's and that's uh, all the coaches ask for right now. The Bills made a roster move Tuesday. They put defensive back Deion Broomfield on the waived injured list and they signed veteran defensive lineman Andre Fluellen. He has spent most of his seven year NFL career with the Detroit Lions. You can't have enough good players, and I think when you add to the competition, you know, those are real positive things. You know, I just saw him out there. I'm like, hey, who's, you know, young kid, you know. He's played in the league a little bit, but he can run. You know, he's got some uh, movement skills. The Bills had seven new coaching assistants on the sideline Tuesday at minicamp. All of them brought on as part of the Bill Walsh Minority Coaching Fellowship Program. One of them, a familiar face, Bills Hall of Fame wide receiver Andre Reed, who did a short coaching fellowship a couple of years ago with the Chiefs. I have a lot to give back to the game. And I had a feeling I wanted to do something after I was done playing. Even before that, but my kids were too small, and I think uh, uh, as they're older now, I can, you know, devote more time to it if I want to. And, you know, being in Kansas City two years ago and here now, I feel a little more comfortable here, as you guys know. I played here, so um, it's uh, first day was pretty good, and I got just a great welcome from from Rex and the staff. Uh, it's really nice, really cool. Well, if the Bills went without offensive tackle Chantrell Henderson at the mandatory minicamp on Tuesday, he had travel issues, according to Rex Ryan. Another lineman, Chris Williams, on the road back from off-season back surgery. He's still rehabbing in attendance, but not participating. And Ryan's not sure if he'll be ready for training camp just yet. It's going to wait on the doctors for that. Yeah, and training camp is uh, just six weeks away. I think the Bills are determined, Chris, to use this minicamp to kind of tune up before training camp. Coach Ryan talked Tuesday about eliminating some of the obvious mistakes they made in this first uh, practice. And I get the sense also the coaching staff is going to use the minicamp workouts to kind of explore the limits of the offensive and defensive playbooks before slightly scaling that down before they go to camp. Greg Roman said high volume now, and then they reduce it as they move through training camp and into the preseason. For John Murphy, I'm Chris Brown for Bill's Roundup, presented by ECMC.